Film composers are widely considered to be just a completely different animal from more traditional concert or art composers. And one of the biggest reasons why is because a great film composer needs to be more than just a great composer. They also need to be a fantastic storyteller. The most accomplished film composers alive today all know that they need to understand the story of a film intimately before they can start to write their first notes. However, the idea that you need to develop as both a composer and a storyteller is something that frequently gets overlooked. And that's something that I want to try and address over the next few weeks. Throughout this video series, I'll take you step by step through my entire process of scoring a short film. You'll get a behind the scenes look as I explain every decision and step I take to score the short film, The Foundling, for the 2022 Zurich International Film Scoring Competition. We'll start with my process for dissecting the story. Then we'll move on to spotting each scene for music, writing the actual themes, orchestrating our sketches, and then finally, writing down the entire score for sheet music. I'll take you along for the entire ride as I start completely from scratch and end up with a fully scored soundtrack for the film. Now, for those of you who want to follow along and write your own music, the link to download this year's short film can be found at the official competition's website, which I'll include in the description below. Before we get started, I do want to take a quick moment to thank my wonderful patrons who make videos like this one possible. This week, a special shout out goes to my newest patrons, Linda and Cliff. I want to thank you both for supporting this channel and welcome you officially to the Patreon community. So with that, let's get started. So the very first thing that I need to do is actually watch the film. I'm not going to take any notes just yet because the first time I watch it, I want to just experience it like a regular member of the audience. Now, for copyright reasons, I can't actually show any of the footage in this video. So if you'd like to see the film for yourself, I really recommend following the link in the description to download your own copy. All right, so I just watched the film. And first impressions, I really liked it. There's a lot of subtle things going on that you miss the first time you watch it, but then start to stick out to you as you become more familiar with the story. And typically that translates to a lot of fun stuff with the music. So next, I want to start dissecting the story so I can make sure I have a solid understanding of what it is I'm trying to translate into music. And typically for this, I have a very specific process I like to follow, starting with summarizing the story into one sentence. Going through the process of trying to break down the story into such a short summary really helps me focus and figure out on what the most core aspects and elements of the story actually are. In these one sentence summaries, I typically try to tackle four things. The precipitating event, the character description, the basic action taken by the main character, and the outcome of that action. The precipitating event is basically the action or event that kickstarts your entire story. It's the reason why the story takes place in the first place. For us, this has to be the moment at the very beginning of the film, when we watch a mother abandon her newborn child at a traveling circus. Next, the character description is... Exactly that. It's just a brief one or two word description of our main character and who they are. So for us, we could say a boy with a unicorn's horn. Next, the basic action is basically just the plot of the whole story. What action does our main character take that ends up driving the story forward? For us, I'd say that's when Unicorn Boy recognizes his mother years later and decides to chase after her. Finally, the outcome is, again, exactly what it sounds like. What is the outcome of our basic action? How does the story end? For us, the outcome is Unicorn Boy catches his mother just long enough for her to apologize for abandoning him before she abandons him a second time. So if we put all of these things together, we end up with a simple summary like, Years after being abandoned at the circus, a young man with a unicorn's horn recognizes his mother and chases after her, only for her to apologize for leaving him before running away once more. So now that I have successfully summarized this story, I have a few more questions that I want to answer to help make sure that I have a basic but solid understanding of this story. These questions are meant to get me thinking about which elements are most important to the core of the story, and which of them I should keep in mind while I'm writing my themes. One is who are the main characters? And why? How is the story and its outcome dependent on them? Two, 
is which scenes or events stick out as the most important to the story. Again, why? How is the story and its outcome dependent on them? Three, are there any important themes or metaphors that jump out to me as being central to the story? And four, are there any particular moments that I think stick out as either particularly needing music or not needing music? And again, why? For the characters, I find that there are two main characters, Unicorn Boy and his mother, and I feel like my reasoning is kind of obvious. The entire story focuses on this interaction between the two characters years after she abandoned him. For the scenes, I ended up with a few more options. The opening scene, when the young mother abandons her son, because it sets up the entire story and introduces us to the characters and their context. The scene when Unicorn Boy recognizes his mother in the crowd, because it sets up our primary conflict and action of the story. The moment when he finally catches her, because it's literally the climax of the film, where we finally get to see the two characters interact. The moment when she abandons him a second time, because it reveals the outcome of our basic action, and that the two will not actually be reunited. And then finally, the ending scene, when we get to see the circus leaving town and find out that the unicorn boy actually has a pretty comfortable lifestyle, including a nice home and lovely wife, girlfriend, partner, or whatever. And the reason why this is so important is because it actually flips the whole narrative on its head. We finally realize that Unicorn Boy isn't unhappy. His mother's apology was more about her own inability to accept him than it was for condemning him to some horrible, joyless life with the circus. And I know, if you've watched the film, you'll probably realize that this list kind of includes pretty much every scene in the movie. Uh, there's only a few moments I think I left out. But that's okay. It's a short film, and this is my list. I can include whatever scenes I want to. And you can too, when you make your own. So this leaves us with just themes and metaphors. And the biggest one to stick out to me is probably the unicorn horn. Pun unintended. I mean, this horn is basically at the center between two worlds in our story. On the one side, we have civil society, which just can't live with the idea of a human being with a horn in the middle of their forehead. And then on the other side, we have the family of circus members, who don't see it as anything out of place, and actually view it as something kind of special. I mean, if you bother to watch the film a second time, there are actually quite a few hints early on that Unicorn Boy has a happy life. We'll discuss these examples of foreshadowing a little more in depth as we start to take closer looks at characters and scenes for inspiration to our music. But for now, our last step is to look for specific moments that stick out as either really needing music or not needing music. And for me, I honestly think this entire film could work really well with just constant music. There's only one specific moment in the climax of the film that I think could benefit from a short interruption in the music. And that's when Unicorn Boy gets tackled out of harm's way by a clown. But other than that, it's a short film, so why not write music for the entire thing? So with that, we have finished step one. Yay! Yes, 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 round of applause. We've taken some decent notes, and more importantly, now have a deeper understanding of the story that we need to translate into music. Next week, we're going to start combing through each scene a little more deliberately, to look for inspiration for our music. Then, after that, we'll be ready to start writing a list of every theme and motif that we will need to write for this project. So until next time, keep studying, keep working hard, and as always, keep writing new music.